Sunny 97.7 WMOI and AM 1330 WRAM and FM 95.7. It's the school spotlight for the month of November, and we are at United Junior Senior High School right here in Monmouth. We're joined by Principal Brian Higby. Brian, thanks for having us. Thank you, everyone, for being here today. It's great you to have you here. It's so nice to be in this beautiful field house. It was completed quite some time ago, but it still looks fantastic, almost like it's still new. Yes, we just uh, dressed up the uh, court here this past summer. And so, yeah, it got uh, a little bit of renovation from 2012 when it was first constructed. Okay. And Brian, this is really unique for us. We've been out here before as the high school, but now it's the junior senior high school. So the first school spotlight for this, uh, this new endeavor. Tell us all about it. Definitely. Um, it was right about this time last year that our school board decided uh, to reorganize our school district um, uh, for space needs at our grade school buildings. And so all the grade levels um, were reorganized. Um, and uh, what once was the junior high building is now the intermediate building. And so we now have seventh and eighth graders in here with our high schoolers. Uh, so we've gone from about of almost 300 students to almost about 450 students in our building as we speak this school year. What's been the learning curve mixing the junior high and senior high? You got a space issue probably and had to work through that. Tell us about the learning curve and the positives. So uh, yeah, we were uh, given the uh, tall task of finding space for everyone, which uh, I'm happy to say that we, we were creative, but yes, we found space for everyone, office space, classroom space, storage space, all that fun stuff. Um, but the great thing about uh, the combination of seventh and eighth with our high school is that um, all of those teachers are now here in one building. In years past, we've shared a lot of teachers, so we've eliminated that travel. Um, um, there's a lot of collaboration uh, between our junior high and high school teachers uh, within the same departments and beyond. So that's worked out really well and uh, we continue to look forward to having that advantage of everyone here in our building. That is an advantage and it, there's so much energy now. Not that there wasn't before, but when you, you have that many students together, it's, it certainly brings a level of enthusiasm. Almost oh, definitely. Um, yeah, we are, we are pretty full um, and you can see that in our hallways, but that's a good thing. Uh, every day is a busy day and it's a, it's a good busy. Uh, no two days are the same, um, and uh, we're up, uh, Mr. Mollick, my assistant principal, and I are always up to the challenge um, of who knows what the day is going to bring, uh, but uh, excited nonetheless. Okay. All right. So tell us about the school, about your faculty, your staff, your administration team. Tell us all about them. Sure. Um, like I said, I, I mentioned... Um, uh, many are probably aware we have a brand new administration, a brand new superintendent with Mr. Tom Hawkins. Um, uh, I have come from 24 years in the classroom. I was a Spanish teacher here, uh, going back to Yorkwood and United Days. Uh, so I'm making that transition to administration. Same thing with my assistant principal, Mr. Mullick, um, who has come from the uh, history classroom to be the assistant principal. Uh, we have uh, an excellent staff of about 50 uh, faculty and staff members uh, that make everything run here on a daily basis. I can't thank them enough for all that they do. Um, and like I said, it's exciting walking into the classrooms. It's exciting collaborating with our support staff um, with all the needs that we inevitably have. So um, I can't, I can't uh, praise them enough. Okay. What's coming up for United Junior High, our junior senior high school? What's coming up? We've got the holidays on the way. You've got plenty of activities. I just got a basketball schedule from Sean Dimple. So we're going to be out here calling Red Storm Basketball. Tell us all about what's coming up. So yeah, we have a transition from our fall sports to our winter sports. Um, uh, of course, uh, we always talk about how uh, kind of jam-packed the junior high schedule is, how they go from that uh, the August, September sports of softball, baseball, golf, uh, quickly to girls basketball. Um, we started a, a, for the first time in about 10 years junior high football mm -hmm. and they're coming off of a very successful first season um, and just uh, literally turn around the next day when that season is over and uh, like boys basketball is starting up for the junior high also. Um, this next week uh, high school girls and boys basketball is going to be starting up also. Uh, I was in on wrestling practice yesterday for the high school. Like I said this 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 building is buzzing well before the start of school and well after uh, the end of the school day. 
Okay. And uh, any holiday ideas coming up or programs? Sure. Um, not necessarily holiday based, but I think for the first time and probably at least, if I do the math here, probably at least uh, 15 to 20 years, there'll be a junior high spelling bee okay. uh, in this building. It brings back memories. Um, uh, and one of the things I always look forward to holiday based is Jen, um, and uh, again, uh, great leadership with Ms. Madeline Wood and Mrs. Katie Pettigo uh, with the program. I always look forward to that um, and uh, really look forward to the honor of introducing uh, for the first time and kicking off that concert there. On How December nice. 10th. Yep. December 10th. Okay. Yep. And then uh, before our Christmas break, uh, we do host uh, both boys and girls uh, holiday basketball tournament here. Uh, which will keep things really, really busy uh, that last week uh, leading up to our Christmas break. Okay. Um, you are the school spotlight. Is there anything you want people to know specifically about United Junior Senior High School? Um, I, again, appreciate all of the community support. Um, one of the things I haven't mentioned when I was mentioning as far as uh, school our size, I feel that we have uh, a lot to offer for our students, uh, both academically and with extracurriculars. Um, and uh, it's always that feeling of, uh, of being humble as far as all of our community support that we have for those entities. Like uh, this afternoon, we're hosting our uh, LTC Junior High Speech Meet. Uh, so, you know, I anticipate that we'll have members of the community come and support that. Um, but again, I can't thank our community enough for all that they do. Um, and uh, another thing related to that is uh, with many schools in our region that struggle with participation numbers, if you come to our practices, you come to our games and see how many people we have on our bench, um, we have kids that are really active um, uh, beyond what they do in the classroom. And uh, that's something that we can't take for granted. Tight knit, close group here at United. Yes, yes. Okay. It's a fantastic thing. Yes. And uh, you've got to be happy to see a couple of your former students here. Well, yes, uh, appreciate always seeing and uh, listening to uh, Kelsey Crane on the radio. And appreciate uh, Mr. Brooks uh, when he comes to help out here at uh, Junior Senior High School. Okay, and Kaylee Foster's with us too. She's uh, taking care of the video side of this. So we've got a couple of few things for you. Jake has uh, two t-shirts. One is WRAM and one is Sunny 97.7 for you. Thank you. Also, Rachel Kearns is with us and Maggie's with us from MTC Communications. They are one of our longtime partners in this event. And uh, Rachel's here to present you with a gift. So we have a $150 check for your school to use towards your activities or your extracurricular events in whichever area that you think needs it most. It sounds like you've got lots and lots going on. So between spelling bees and musicals and end of year programs. So that sounds wonderful and just happy to be a part of this opportunity. And congratulations on merging your building and all the fun and creative things that you guys have been doing. So here's to the great rest of your school year. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. and thank you to MTC. I know that... Uh, uh, I see uh, your entity out uh, and is out there and I appreciate uh, all the support for our local schools and beyond. Yes, Rachel, you guys have been amazing at laying fiber and helping our schools, especially in the rural areas. Uh, any other locations you want people to know to be able to check and see if they can get on MTC Communications? Yeah. We're very excited to say that we've just uh, finished building out Cameron and we should be putting fiber to the rest of Cameron in the next couple weeks. So um, collecting applications here very soon and that rural area that comes from the east side of Monmouth South into Cameron, you know, there's lots of homes on there, lots of people that needed reliable internet service. So very excited to get those homes hooked up and then to build into Cameron too. So. Excellent. Thank you very much, Rachel. And Maggie's with her as well from MTC Communications. Hi, Maggie. And Katherine Jennings from the Regional Office of Education. Good morning. Congratulations. Um, I am Katherine Jennings, Director of ROE Services for the Regional Office of Education Number 33. Here on behalf of Jody Scott, um, we are honored to recognize your school for all of the hard work that you all put in every day to serve our community and schools. Um, thanks for having us. Thank you does uh, amazing services um, I know having been a part of the ROE um, that it is a wonderful group uh, to always work with uh, and reach out to uh, with the multi needs that a district and school inevitably has and any ideas what you want to use your $150 check for 
Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I will go back uh, and discuss with our administration as far as, and teachers as far as uh, needs are concerned. But again, uh, thank you uh, to everyone that's been here today, uh, to WMOI, WRAM, uh, MTC, and the ROE also. Yes, and there are so many needs. Schools need so much help, uh, funding. Some of that, thanks to Jody Scott, has happened. The committee that she was on or the task force with the evidence-based funding. So we're holding our own uh, in our schools right now, but we, we need more to continue to help with services. Most definitely, yes. There's, there are plenty of things. Um, you know, that go unfunded and, uh, you know, fall in the laps of our school districts uh, to meet the needs of our students. Okay. Congratulations, sir. Thank you very much. Brian Higby with us. He is the principal, United Junior Senior High School, our school spotlight for the month of November.